Where were you? What? In the war. Where were you? In Poland. But where were you? weren't in the camps. No, no. We were, we had the Aryan papers. Did what? Aryan papers. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, because when he said the Holocaust, I don't think. <laughs> my parents were Holocaust survivors and yeah. they were much older. With your age, you couldn't never survive camps. Yeah, well, I, we weren't lucky. My father was uh, at one point in camp, but he escaped. Oh, yeah. he escaped the camp? But no, the they took him, no, the camp. They took him on a work detail. Oh. And then there, there was a shed there, and they didn't, he hid in there, and they didn't make a count going back. So he was left behind. Very lucky. <laughs> yes. So nice to see you. Ah, I get to kiss you more time. <laughs> Thank you for, thanks for having me, I'm excited. Where's my babka? <laughs> oh, hello ladies and gentlemen. The one tip is to try to restate the question when you can. So I'll say... I'm not going to do that. I mean, come on. It's going to, if I can't hear it, then I'll say it to you. But otherwise, I'm not going to repeat what you say. No, you don't have to repeat. Can I explain? So if I say what I is... I know what you're saying. You want to hear about my experiences then and there. Okay. You ready to go? I know you give me a lot of shit that I don't have kids yet, and my brother doesn't either, but one day we will. And I want them to know about you and to know your story. How do you want them and my grandkids to remember you? I was born in Kelso, which is a town between Warsaw and Krakow. We were way above middle class. And if anybody thinks that I come from a shtetl, I get very upset because I have never seen a shtetl in my whole life. My sister was six years older. Supposedly, I looked like Shirley Temple. I had blonde curls. And she was Diana Durbin. Once she heard a tune, she could sit down and play it. My sister had friends and I, she wouldn't let me in. She would close the door and they would uh, talk about different things. So I would listen through the people and then what if I heard something bad, I would run to my mother. You know what she's doing? If we were eating something and she wanted what I had, she would say, you want to eat that? It's disgusting. How can you have that? You know, this, the minute I pushed it away, she would take it and eat it. And her name is Irene? What? Her name was Irene? Irena. 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 And when was the last time that you saw her? In uh, April of 1943. Hi. <laughs> I'm back to classes, sorry. Sorry. I didn't fall down. No, I'm good, I'm all right. Uh, okay. No, but I thought you were closer to this. No. Hi, Mom. Hi. 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 How are you? Hi. Hi. You have to make the Netflix respond to me. Go. <laughs> what do you mean, go? <laughs> <laughs> it shouldn't be What's this slow. What's trending now? It new. just gives you new things that are so popular. So I want new things. Peaky Blinders, that's no, supposed to be no. good. I don't know, it's like we didn't really talk about the Holocaust. I guess I knew, of course, in the back of my mind that she came here after the war. I knew it all along, but I didn't really uh, think about it. On my mother's side, we didn't have anybody to visit. We visited my grandparents in Brooklyn, but um, there were no aunts and uncles on her side. 
there was nobody else really. We didn't ask many questions when we were growing up. It was just not talked about. So. Grandma, um, what happens next? The war broke out September 1st, 1939. The minute the Germans drove in, they started picking up Jews in the street. My father decided we're not staying here. He figured out somehow that maybe if he went to a priest and the priest would give us a paper saying that we are studying to become Catholic, that that will save us. The only problem was that we really had to pretend that we're not Jews, so we had to go to church. And all the Jews went to the ghetto, and it was bad news there. When people used to die, they used to put the corpse out in the street, and it would stay there till, till I don't know who eventually picked up the bodies. but you were, in a way, privileged. You were on the other side of the wall. You were Catholic. But, yes, you were but, fake but Catholic. it were not such a terrific thing because my father was known. And we started getting blackmailers coming at night. They said, if you don't have anything, we're going to send the Gestapo. And sure enough, they sent the Gestapo. And they took my father away. My sister now became the, the, the head of the family. My mother was really scared, and my mother looked very Semitic, whereas my sister and I, we didn't. She felt that we cannot stay, and she somehow got my mother a job on the farm, and I was going to be a cowgirl. They gave me six cows and a stick and go. After uh, two weeks, maybe, we got a note from my sister saying that I'm going towards Wolf to see if there's anybody left from our family. Love, Irena. That's the end. We never heard about her. We never heard from her. Or And after the war, my parents went through Red Cross and, and the Yad Vashem and all that, nothing ever. We were not, could never find a trace of her. What do you think happened to her? She was probably shot. They, they probably, on the train, they might have asked them for papers or something, and something happened that maybe was suspicious, I don't know. Was there a moment when you, when it dawned on you that Irena was never gonna come back? I never thought she's never coming back. To me, she has disappeared, I mean, but she'll come back. Many times after the war, if I would see somebody that looked like her, I would follow them thinking maybe it's her, you know. But after a while, it, you know, you stop and that's it.
I feel the way I feel, but I, that, that's nobody's business how I feel, you know? And I don't analyze it. It's part of me, and that's what it is. Yeah. I don't know. Can you describe any last memories with her from that time? Do you remember anything you did together? No. No. Think about You must remember something from the war together. No, I wasn't. You don't remember your last memory of her? No, I don't think about it that way. And I know I'm pushing here. I just, I'm going to stop in a second, but it's in, we've never talked about, I never even knew you had a sister. That's why I'm so interested in this because you never told us. No, well, um, look. I didn't talk about that time of my life. First of all, nobody was interested. You didn't talk about it. Two, I felt that if I start telling my story the way it really happened, it was too depressing or too horrifying for the kids when they were small. So I felt, okay, sometimes later. And uh, later never came. Good? Hello. Hi, Nina Giselle. How are you? Hi, honey. I'm in the middle of yoga now. Can I call you back? Yes, you can. Enjoy your yoga. You have a beautiful, beautiful grandson. I'll talk to you later. Okay, hon. Thank you. What would you say is your lesson from what you went through? That people are inhuman. And, and if there is any God, I don't understand that he would let that happen. We were now evacuated as Poles. We got on the train and we ended up in Prague. The Czechs decide to liberate their town from the Germans because the Allies are very close. The Czechs poured tar on the Germans, hung them and then lit the match. I mean, this was terrible. Yeah, never. That, that's the smell of the burning flesh. But, yeah. but you, you lost your sister. Surely that's revenge to burn. Why? Isn't that a kind of revenge? Something that they deserved? No, I no. I I just you don't do that to other human beings. I don't believe. Come on. We are all born little adorable children. What happens? What happens? What happens to people that they can become worse than animals? Animals kill because they're hungry. But they're, they're terrible. What people do to people, I, I, that's beyond me. I don't care, German, Jew, whoever.
I don't know, it's human race is, is, maybe it's time for it to disappear and, and uh, I don't know. You think the creatures from outer space will be better? I don't know. Hi, hi. I, I have a feeling that you're going to have a hard time, you know, with accepting the fact that I'm, I, I'm going, I'm gone. And, you know, I, I feel bad about it. But uh, it's, it's a, you know, it's a fact of life, that's what happens. My lead then, right? Yeah. Your father had five sisters with families and all of them were killed. That's correct. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. What do you mean you didn't know that? Everybody. So you were one of a few members of the extended family that, that survived? That, that survived, yeah. My parents and, and I. I think growing up, I never really understood that. No, because look, when you're growing up, you're young, you, you don't dwell on these things. The same thing, I didn't dwell while it was happening. I, I didn't dwell on it. It, it. That's what was happening, you know. I'm, I'm a very uh, straightforward person. That's what happens, and uh, you have to accept it. Uh, if you don't like it, uh, too bad. I came to America in 1951. My mother said, why are you going to sit home? Go to the beach. There were two guys there. I didn't even look their way, but they saw me. And they flipped a coin, and, and Grandpa won. And we got married in 53. We had Linda first. Two years later, we had Larry. Grandchildren, I have five. <laughs> Would I want her to be alive? Definitely. Would I want her to be in my life? Yes. But what can I do about it? There's nothing I can do. That's what happened. What's gone is gone. Well, thank you for having us. We had such a great time. and uh... Oh, it was very nice, except when it was annoying. <laughs> You should come and visit me more often, not just for the movie. Spent three days. I spent four days with you this week. 
Okay, well that's going to last me how long? <laughs> Grandma is 90. I had no idea. 29, oh. 29. <laughs> I, we were never allowed to know your age. Never. Frankie Lane, he was singing Jezebel. In the wake of a breakup, you're the best one to call. To, like, <laughs> to tell me to like stop crying and get back out there. <laughs> I walked up to the Okay. You say in Hebrew, Ad okay. Mervin sleep till 120. Okay. And all the best. And okay. keep, keep on kicking. Make a wish? Okay. A wish that we should all be together next year. <laughs>